Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the Mac um, OS Adventure Game Studio engine so you can natively run Adventure Game Studio games um, on your own computer. Uh, so you can see in Adventure Game Studio here, they do have pre-built versions for Windows. Um, somewhere there is a link um, to their GitHub page which is github.com forward slash adventure game studio forward slash AGS forward slash releases and here you can see you got the latest alpha release um, I might do the latest stable release so here you got 3.5.1.14 latest which is the 3.5.1 patch 7 which they currently have on their their downloads page so if we go down to the assets and what we want to do is download the source code. I'm going to download a zip file because I guess it's easily supported in Mac. And it's downloading the file. Alright, and Safari automatically unzips the file, so I'm just going to bring it up in the finder, and we can see here that we've got the AGS underscore 3.5.14 underscore source file. And you can see you've got all the, the different files there. Now, to be able to build it, you're going to need to install um, CMake. So the easiest way to do that is to go to brew.sh, the website, install homebrew basically all you need to do is copy this this file here and then we'll bring up a terminal okay so basically it would be like this you'd paste it in and then it would um, it would go through and install but I've already got it installed so then to install CMake you type brew install CMake and press enter. Now I already have this installed as well um, but it'll go through and it will will check to see that everything's up to date and you can see that I'm already running the latest version and it says I can have an option to reinstall it if I want. So I already have it installed. The next thing that you need is um, Xcode. So you'd go into the Apple App Store up the top, search for Xcode. Here you can see Xcode. It says open. So if you don't have it installed, there'd be an option to download to get it um, and install it. Um, it is pretty huge download. I think it's about 15, 16 gigabytes these days. Um, so if you're only doing it for the odd thing just be aware that it is a pretty big download and every time there's a new release of Mac OS then you need to really download Xcode again. So I've already got it installed so I'm not going to worry about that. So then in the terminal what you want to do is go CD down press tab loads and then it's um it's case sensitive so it's lowercase all right. So then we're going to go AGS dash Three. Oh, it's underscore, not dash. Underscore three point press tab and it comes up. And you can see that now I'm in that directory. Um, okay. So if you wanted to look at the instructions for CMake, I think it's in the CMake. Time deep. Don't know why tab completion wasn't working there, but you can see that you've got instructions install Xcode, install CMake, um, then it says to make a build directory and then run CMake gxcode dot dot. So basically, um, if we're going to follow the instructions that they have, you can make a directory called build, then you go into the build directory, then you type CMake dash g xcode full stop full stop and that's basically just going back one one directory now what this basically does is it goes through and it scans your computer for all of the different libraries and things that you have installed 
and it builds an Xcode project file that will build everything um, for you. Now, I have tried doing this manually through the command line. There's different places you can go to do it through the command line, but it doesn't look... I don't, don't think they have everything up to date because it doesn't seem to work. So I did the Xcode thing even though you know you should be able to build it through the command line using other methods. They don't seem to work for me anyway when I tried it. So the Xcode method um, seems to be the most reliable version for Mac anyway at the moment. I guess the people that are doing it must be using Xcode and keeping this build files up to date. Um, so I've done this with the stable version and the alpha version um, but it will take a bit of time for this to go through and do everything so I'm just going to pause the recording and I'll be back when this is finished. Okay so when everything's finished down the bottom you'll see this thing that says build files have been written to and then the path where it's been written to. Now you'll see here that some things have failed that's okay just means that my computer doesn't have it or whatever um, but it's been writ written into the build folder, so which I'm in the build folder. So if I type ls, you can see that I've got all these these build files here now. All right. So inside the AGS source folder, we go into that that build directory that I created. Where is it build? And and do you see this AGS um, Xcode file? So let's open that up. Xcode will load up. Okay. So I'll take a bit of time. Okay, and you can see there's a whole bunch of different things in here. Alright, so basically what we want to do is go to the product menu and if we go down to scheme you can see that it's it's currently selected free type so it's only going to build free type but we want to build everything so there's a scheme called all underscore build so select that one and then up here you can see we're all all build so that should try to build absolutely everything Alright, so if you don't change it to all build, it'll only build one little library and not the whole thing. So then if we go to the product menu and go down to build. Okay, then up here you can see building 56 of 637. It could be lower sometimes and, and go up as it scans things. Um, but you can see down here, there's a whole heap of warnings as it's, as it's things are compiling, which is okay, as long as we don't get errors. Now, here you can see that I've done 176, 177 of 637, so I'm not going to have you wait for this to finish, but, so I'll pause the, um, the video, um, alright. Where is screen flow? I don't have my my menu. Let's go to Finder. There we go. Pause. Okay, so now up here you can see build succeeded today at 9:09 p.m. So the build has succeeded. So now what we want to do is go into the finder and you can see that it's created this debug folder and you can see there's two files. One is AGS and one is AGS.app. So AGS is a command line program that you could put in the path and run basically any um, Adventure Game Studio game from the command line. Uh, and if we bring up the terminal and we go into that debug folder and if we run AGS by itself without any any parameters or game files um, you can see that um, 
the version says 3.5.1.14, which is the current patch 7 release. Um, so basically what I might do is copy these two files and I'll go into this Wilfred directory and I'll paste them both in there. Okay, so in the terminal, if I go to my downloads folder, then into Wilfred, you'll see that .ags file. So if we were to run it with the command line app, you go ags and then it's um, wilfred.exe. And up the game comes. Now, if you're wanting to just run random AGS games, you could do it this way, fine. Um, but you may want to have an actual um, app file. So basically, what you'd want to do is copy all of the files that are for the game. Um, basically, except this winsetup.exe. You don't really need that, but you could copy it if you wanted to. So then you click the AGS app file that's been created, right click it and go show package contents. And if we go into the contents and then into the resources, you'll see that there's already some files there that we don't actually need. So we can delete them and just keep the icon. So if you wanted to change the game icon, you could do that by putting in a different icon. And then you paste in the game files. And then you find the the game.exe file and you basically call it ac2game.dat and once we've got all the game files in there you can see this ags.app so you could change this to be uh, wilfred.app because that's the name of the game and obviously you could change the icon if you wanted to um, but if we then Double click this to open it. We now have an app file that loads up. We can click start. I'm just clicking through it. And click acknowledge. Oh no. Okay, Samantha. This is what your AI was programmed for. You got this first. So this game, you are actually the ship. It's somewhat unique, and you've got a menu, and you can scan things, and support, and crew, and systems. Um, so I can click scan and click my personnel. Very strange. All persons aboard are unconscious? All but let me see if I can scan. Found them. And there's a cat, so obviously you gotta try and get the cat to press to allow. A cat the, uh, scan this and no well wait. But anyway, um, if we exit out of the game, you can see that obviously the build that I've just made um, is working. It's exactly the same for the alpha build. Um, and it's fairly straightforward as long as you've got the, the components there. So um, I hope this has been um, helpful for you to show you how to build a Mac OS build of um, Adventure Game Studio so you can r natively run um, your own the AGS games on a Mac uh, and if you're a developer then obviously you'd need to code sign and notarize um, the app you can basically search on Google how how to do that and then you could release your your AGS game um, I guess natively on Mac without um, having any issues um, if you do have um, If you want to release your game for free on on Mac without having um, a developer certificate, what you can do is on my you. I'll just bring up the command. You can disable um, the gatekeeper by running this command here in the terminal, which you'd have to tell your users to do, but then they could run your game um, on Mac without you having the developer c um, certificate, which you'd only probably do if it's a free game. If it's a paid game, then they'd expect you to to do the code signing and notarization so you don't get the warnings.
But anyway, um, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And um, if for whatever reason you don't want to go through all the rigmarole, I do have pre-compiled versions on my on my website as well that you can just download and use. Um, so yeah, I'll end the video there.